YouTube. This is a Common Sense Professor, and today we're going to look at a very simple program that we're going to go through as a project. And so this is the actual program itself right here. You're designed a program that will seal in a motor when the start button is pressed. The motor will remain running even when the operator is not pressing the start button, and then the start button is normally open. So we keep that in mind whenever we're doing the program here. And we will use emulate software on this. And if you have not done so, be sure and go back and watch the first three videos that I've got on my channel before doing this. The normally closed e-stop, the normally open overspeed switch, and the normally closed line e-stop will all stop the motor. Okay, so those are things to remember whenever we start programming this program. We're gonna have one start button that's gonna start the motor, and we're gonna have three things that's gonna stop it. One local e-stop, an overspeed switch, and then a line e-stop. Okay, so I've got Studio 5000 up with my emulator at the bottom here, and we're just gonna create this program as we go along. Uh, let's start with our simple ceiling circuit, and then we're gonna to add to that. Now, we have two normally closed e-stops, so we're just gonna do the local e-stop first, and since it's normally closed, we're gonna use a XIC here, because with that switch being closed, it'll energize this whenever it's not pressed. Now your start button is also, is, is a normally open, and so we're also gonna use an XIC for our start, and then we'll have our run command for our motor. Okay, and then we're gonna seal this start in here. And then we're gonna use an XIC because we'll be using this motor bit to seal that in. Again, if you haven't done so, go back and, and watch my seal in video that I've got on my YouTube channel. All right, so let's create our tags. We'll call this our local e-stop. And it is going to be aliased. And we're gonna be using our emulator here. We use one for that. Okay, now our start, we're just gonna call this start. Again, it's aliased. And finally, our motor, which is gonna be our output, right? So we'll just call this run. And then this is gonna be our output here. So it's gonna be aliased. Go to our output. For that to run. Okay, now we're just gonna drag this over to that bit there. So now here's our simple ceiling circuit. So again, whenever we energize this, this will be closed because it's a normally closed switch. And then once we hit start, it'll start our motor and continue to run even when we let off because we sealed that in. But now we got a couple more conditions we need to look at because not only will this stop it, but there is a line, we'll call it a global e-stop, that will also stop this. So we need to add in, and it's normally close, we add in another XIC here. Let's create a new tag for that. We'll call this global e-stop. And we're gonna alias that as well. And then we've got also got an overspeed switch that is normally open. And so what we need to do with that is we need to have, whoops, put that outside of the branch there. We need to have an XIO here because whenever that overspeed closes, we want to open this circuit up, but we want it to run whenever the overspeed is not enabled. So we'll just call this overspeed, make this an alias. Okay, so this should work. So when I hit start, my e-stops are gonna be closed because they're normally closed. When I hit start, my run command is initiated. I can let off my start, it'll stay running. If my overspeed switch is activated, it'll drop my motor out. If either one of these e-stops are activated, it'll also drop my motor out. So let's download this and watch this work. So our 
e-stop is normally closed and then our global e-stop is also normally closed. Okay, so you can see there, since those are both closed, like a normally closed switch, we've got a path directly to the start. So when I hit my start, my motor runs, I let off my start, it stays running. If, let's say my overspeed switch is activated, shuts my motor off, let's start it back. If my local e-stop is activated, it shuts my motor off. And if my global e-stop switch is activated, it shuts my motor off. Okay, so this is just a really simple program uh, project that we've done together. If you have any questions, please leave them in a the comment below, and I hope this helps you out.